So we're going to be starting with the celiac trunk, which is the first solitary branch to sprout from the abdominal aorta. And the celiac trunk gives off three main branches, all of which can be found by exploring the amental bursa. So the celiac trunk is located in the retroperitoneal space. The left gastric artery is one of the branches of the celiac trunk and it supplies the lesser curvature of the stomach. And you can see the artery moving upwards to be distributed to that region. The common hepatic artery is a branch of the celiac trunk responsible for supplying the liver, the duodenum and the other surrounding structures. And we're going to be exploring its branches later in this tutorial. The splenic artery can be seen coursing on the superior margin of the pancreas. And this artery supplies the body and the tail of the pancreas and the spleen. The gastroduodenal artery is one of the branches of the common hepatic artery and it supplies blood to the proximal part of the duodenum and the head of the pancreas. And this artery has two major branches which we'll look at now. So the first branch of the gastroduodenal artery which you can see here highlighted in green is the right gastroamental artery. And this artery supplies the greater curvature of the stomach and the gastrocolic ligament. And it runs from right to left in the gastrocolic ligament and anastomoses with the left gastroamental artery of the splenic artery. The next branch of the gastroduodenal artery is the superior pancreaticoduodenal artery. And this particular branch of the gastroduodenal artery supplies the head of the pancreas and the proximal part of the duodenum. It divides to posterior and anterior branches as it descends, which anastomose with the respective branches of the inferior pancreaticoduodenal artery of the superior mesenteric artery. Let's move on now to the other branch of the common hepatic artery, the proper hepatic artery. And this artery arises from the common hepatic artery and is the artery we've already discussed as running along the common bile duct and the portal vein within the hepatoduodenal ligament. And it supplies the liver and the gallbladder. The artery highlighted right now is the middle colic artery, and this artery is a branch of the superior mesenteric artery, and as you can see it supplies the transverse colon, and it's located in the transverse mesocolon, along with the middle colic vein. So here we see the middle colic vein highlighted in green, and this vein drains into the superior mesenteric vein, and runs within the transverse mesocolon, alongside the middle colic artery. If you found this quick anatomy or physiology video helpful, you'll enjoy our video tutorials even more. Click on the button and you'll see what I mean. We have hundreds of videos available to our premium members, not to mention all the fun quizzes, complete articles and atlas sections to solidify your knowledge. Click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy and physiology.